we all want to be able to read somebody's facial expressions or decipher body language because I mean it is another language in itself okay but in this video I'm going to be talking about things that you should look out for in case this person is toxic narcissistic Okay, and how you protect yourself. Watch this video if you want to find out how to read a narcissist's facial expressions or body language. Hello my friends and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well in a much requested video. How do you read a narcissist? Ultimately, this is what it is. How to read a narcissist, their facial expressions, their body language, how to decipher quite early on whether you are with someone who is toxic or someone who is a narcissistic person. And you don't even want to hang out with them, of course you don't. But this is how you will decipher really quickly. For those of you, okay, that, you know, that are quite early on in this or have just come across this information, I got you, right? This is what is going to determine if this person is a toxic or a narcissistic individual. Just really quickly before I get into the video, just want to say that I do go live on this channel at the end of every month. Um, please do check the community tab for more details because I will be posting on there when I'm going live. It is a vibe, my friends, so come on over, join the fun. Okay, so when you're around toxic people or narcissistic people, they do display certain characteristics, certain body language, certain facial expressions. Like for example, the major one that most of us can't really ignore is the eyes, the dead eyes that they have, where there's, it's just stone cold, okay? But we're not all gonna be staring into people's eyes, I get it. It's just something that you end up seeing and thinking, this is otherworldly, like this isn't okay. So I think like that is the first major sign, but also another major sign is gonna be your intuition. If someone is toxic, if someone is displaying this, this like narcissistic behavior, you're gonna know. So you need to be able to listen to your gut feeling, your intuition, whatever it is you wanna call it, that is what you need to be listening to because that, my friends, that is never wrong. So the first thing, the first sign or the first kind of body language or facial expression that you need to be looking out for is that grandiose posture. That posture, you know where that person is just like, yeah, look at me. They won't say it, but you will see it. Your eyes will be drawn to that person because it is a certain type of energy that this person does display, all right? But you're going to be drawn to it because you're going to feel a little bit captivated, a little bit like, what is this? So you will see it. You will see it how some person is. And it's that grandiose kind of posture like, yeah, look at me like nothing affects me. Or on the other hand of that, this could be someone that is hiding into the background, doesn't want to say too much. And it's just watching what is going on. The next one is you're going to notice that this person has a lack of empathy. So they don't have a real understanding of what is going on for you. Yes, granted, narcissists or toxic people do have cognitive empathy. But again, you're going to, like, your intuition is going to say, do you really understand? Do you really know what is going on? Like, because this person is going to tell you how it is, but they're not going to show you. Empathy is, is like one of our senses. It's one of our sensory applications that we have. So when you, when you are understanding somebody else, you are able to show genuine concern, understanding. But a narcissist or a toxic person doesn't because they can't or they're not interested. There is also this sense of superiority. I'm better than you. Look what I have. Look what I've got. I'm better than you. So a lot of them will show this sense. And I think this kind of mirrors what we were talking about in that grandiose kind of posture. You know, like the facial expressions that somebody pulls when they feel better than you, you're going to know because especially the language that they speak is going to confirm that for you. There's another thing that they do is mirroring so you copy that person you copy that person because what they're trying to do is they're trying to show that they have interest that they're interested in you they're trying to get you to show you that they are similar to you so then that captivates your attention because that's what all toxic and narcissistic people want is your attention your focus because it makes them feel really important so they're going to do more of this okay they're going to mirror you so that they captivate you, so that you feel drawn to this person. And that leads me on to the next point, attention seeking. They will do anything. Like they literally will do anything 
And I can give you examples of that, whether that's dancing on tables, whether that's, you know, showing off, whether that's showing what assets they have. They might have a nice car, they might have a nice house, might have a nice outfit, designer outfits. They will make sure that you see this. They will make sure that everybody sees this. So there's a lot of this, like calling the attention to them because again, that makes them feel superior, that makes them feel good about themselves. And that is what they crave. They crave that attention. They crave someone to kind of show them and validate them that they are just this amazingly wonderful person by simply the assets that they have. Toxic individuals are rather impatient. And it's in some cases, they become very impulsive, impulsive and impatient. They want things done now. They want everything now. Look at like, for example, when you get into a relationship with someone like that, they rush through this relationship, like literally trying to establish some sort of like label that you guys are together. You know, um, there's other things. They're going to be tapping their feet, looking at their clock, uh, looking at their watch, you know, and, and that's all of it because they want it. They want it now. They, there's no sense of rest. So they want everything to be done straight away. They interrupt conversations because they feel like they're the most important, that they are superior. So a lot of this, you're gonna see this in their face. They're gonna feel quite aggravated, quite annoyed, and they're going to want to get your attention in some way um, so that you conform, you do what they want you to do. They're quite defensive. When they're, you're not agreeing with them, they're quite defensive. So their facial expression is going to show that show they're like irritated, annoyed. They might even fold their arms. They might narrow their eyes. You know, they're going to be, they're going to stop, want to start a argument. So again, the argument is all about you getting it wrong and that you need to see it from their point of view because they are right. That's what they're going to be saying to you, that they are right. And again, you know what? They're agitated. They're angry individuals and they're gonna want you to soothe them and make them feel better. And then the last one that I will say is the charm. They have a charm. They do, my friends, and this is why you feel drawn to them. This is why it feels so good being in their company for a time being, for a time being. So again, you need to be able to decipher this. All of this, all of this is all about your gut feeling your intuition is gonna tell you that these individuals or these people are just not right for you. They're not for you. And I would really just encourage you to feel that because you can see that on, a, some, on someone's face. You'll be able to read them, whether they're happy, whether they're genuine, whether they're frustrated, whether they're angry. Again, their body language is gonna match their facial expressions. So do take the time. If you are feeling uneasy around certain people or a person, take the time to look at this because this is really important. If you are someone that is going through this, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box for more details. Guys, I really hope this video has helped and I hope to see you on the next one. Goodbye.